What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about something I talked about before, but someone asked me in the comments. They wanted to know if you can be a hookup, or sorry, that's actually the opposite. If you're already a hookup, can you be more than that after, okay? Now, before we get started with this, if you can, please subscribe. Just click the red button below if you want more videos on this, um, attracting men, the male mind, and stuff like that. I have a variety of videos on different things. Um, also, if you want to get an email session, or sorry, phone session with me, that's down below along with my free 200-page ebook, my value guide, and my texting guide that's coming out real soon, okay? So, to jump on this subject, here's the thing. You know, can you become more than a hookup after being a hookup? And the answer is absolutely yes. I think 100, well, when I say 100%, I'm not saying 100% of the time, but I don't think the two are correlated, right? Um, I always tell women, the way guys go about relationships is he hangs out with the girl first and then a relationship comes out of it. While a lot of women, um, now I'm saying all women, but a lot of women might go about, like when they're hanging out with the guy, they do it to see if the guys, you know, relationship material for the most part right now i'm not saying there's not there's not some of you girls out there who just want to hang out and party have fun and be single and your you know hashtag single life whatever what i understand that but for the most part um you know when a guy goes about it just because he's hooking up with you it doesn't mean that you're off the off the radar right it's, it's like nope she's just a hookup now nothing more that's not how it is attraction is not a choice if you can attract a guy and do the right things then you pretty much got them, which I explain in my value guide. I go into great detail on that in my value guide. I explain, you know, what he's, uh, what you know, what he wants, how to give it to him, how to do it the right way, how to unfold, you know, build attraction naturally, all that kind of stuff. Okay, but here's the thing. Uh, I think it comes down to two factors a lot of the time. Number one, it comes down to if the guy is actually looking for a relationship. And just because he's hooking up with you does not mean he's not looking for a relationship. But don't. But a lot of people automatically assume, oh, he already hooked up with me, therefore he doesn't want a relationship. When that's not true, he just might not have wanted the relationship to begin with. It's not because you're hooking up with him. However, to kind of sound hypocritical with that, on the other side of the spectrum, I know a lot of guys who did not want relationships, but the girl was so cool, so awesome, so fun to be around with that a relationship ended up coming about it, just like I said previously. You know, I'm a great example. I remember there's this one girl, I said, and again, I said this in a lot of videos, who kind of changed my ways. I used to be that piece of shit kind of guy and stuff like that back in the day. And, um, you know, and I would online dating, Tinder, stuff like that, go to, you know, go out, you know, just talk to multiple women, you know, whatever. But it wasn't until this one girl came about and she, she I, I, I actually, let me, let me rewind a little bit because this is important. I had a client the other day who was wanting this guy back and I told her this chances are slim to none. She says, you know, well, I heard, she told me, well, I heard your story. How did you, you know, how did the girl change you and stuff like that? And I told her that the girl was a really, really good storyteller. Now, when I say that, I'm not saying she's good at telling stories and opens the book and reads me a bedtime thing every night. <laughs> no. However, she is really good at drawing a picture. She didn't have to say it. It was just by her aura, how she acted, how she works the room, how she flirted with me, how she carried herself, her confidence. It showed me a very damaged demand right at the time. It showed me that if I had her in my life, my life would be much better, right? Just what she wanted to do with it, her goal. She was ambitious, fun, sexy, goofy. She made me feel good about myself. I was always smiling when she was talking to me around me. I just felt like life would be better with her in my life. So if there's some way you could demonstrate that, and I always tell women, you know, the number one thing or number one trait a guy wants in a girl is someone who will make him a better man or make him a better version of himself. So if you're able to do that, then I would say without a doubt, unless he's just a shitty guy who just doesn't want a relationship, right? He's super, super damaged. Um, but if you show a guy that you are worthy of his time, effort, again, I'm not saying you have to prove yourself, but you're just, you know, the shit that he can't really get much better because, and again, I don't mean that in a looks type of way, just who you are as a whole, right? If you have value, you show value and, 
you you just paint a really good picture. I can't emphasize that enough. If he just can, because he's looking at you when you're talking, he's thinking, he's looking at your lips, he's looking at your eyes, he's looking at how you carry yourself, and he's like, I can actually see myself with this girl. That's how guys think. Trust me, it's right then and there. It comes out of nowhere. He'll literally sit there, talk to you, or when he's cuddling you and you guys are watching a movie, he's literally not he's not thinking about all that kind of shit. He's in his own or the movie. He's in his head. And he's like, can I see myself with this girl? And if you painted the picture up to that point, then guess what? You have a good chance of getting with him. So, yes, after a hookup, you can make a guy your boyfriend. You just have to be a really good painter, okay? You have to be a Picasso. So with that being said, ladies, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. If you want a session with me, again, down below in the description with my email or my, uh, my guides. I love you, ladies. Take care and peace.